what actually is aid at and who should apply for aid. So we have a mix of audience here. Some of you might be knowing what ADAT is and some, uh, some of you might have researched it well and some of you are new to it. So uh, to get into the background of that, ADAT, that is American Dental Admissions Test, is the test which is instituted by ADA. That is American Dental Association. So it's an Sorry, American meant, uh, Advanced Dental, is it advanced? Yes. Yeah. Advanced Dental Admission Test. Yeah. Given by ADA, that mm -hmm. is American Dental Association. So it's an American test, and uh, it uh, was initially meant for students who are going to apply for advanced dental education programs in US. Mm -hmm. So from so 2000, yeah. What, what I, sorry, just to kind of, uh, so what I know is that like when you want to do a specialty in the US, they use ADAT. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, there are around a list of 400 plus programs in US which take ADAT. Some of them compulsorily require ADAT and some of them consider ADAT. So for mm -hmm. that, we have to review each program where we are interested. However, uh, because now Canadian universities are considering ADAT for their IDAT programs, so that's where uh, the more important discussion comes into. So McGill University in Canada, they started considering uh, taking ADAT scores for their IDAP program requirement. Mm -hmm. Post that, in 2022, University of Toronto said that they will also take ADAT scores for their IDAP program. Mm -hmm. And now we have three more universities who are considering that, which we will discuss now. Mm -hmm. So um, that is ADAT program. So, ADAT program is basically a exam which is evaluating your clinical decision making skills. Like how and, good you yes. And also um just to right now we also have a blog and a YouTube video about which universities are doing ADAT, like are taking ADAT. And I think by 2025 admission is like 90% of five. them. Right. Yes. All like yeah. Five universities, seven out of five, five out of seven. Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, that is for ADAT. So who should apply for ADAT? If you are an international, like, international student who is interested in taking an admission to Canadian universities, these five out of seven universities who offer ADAT program, if you are interested in taking an admission in the university, then you should uh, take an ADAT program this year because uh, by 2025, the five universities are only taking ADA. Second, if you are a graduate of either an American university or a Canadian university, or even if you are an international student, but you are interested in an American advanced dental education program, that is a specialty program, you should take an ADA. So, if you, are, if you fall under any of this category, it is important that you take ADAT this year, okay? So, uh, any questions so far, anyone? I think it's um, clear. So basically guys, why is this yeah. important for you as uh, international trained dentist in Canada? Because for the university pathway, ADAT is gonna become the standard, right? So far, so um, that's what, that's why it's important for you guys. Now, do you want to discuss um, what is the ADAT internally as an exam or do you want to go into that? Because yes. I get a lot of questions where people ask me, um, I haven't myself done the ADAT. Dr. Amnik has done the ADAT. So I get a lot of questions about the actual application and how long it takes and what's the exam structure. I mean, I, I have a video on it on YouTube you know, about it, but I haven't actually gone through the process. So a lot of people could get a benefit from you shedding some light on that as well. Yes, yes. We'll go from there. And uh, in the meanwhile, we have a question from Maria. University of Alberta is also taking it at. Yes, from 2025 fall cycle, University of Alberta will be considering ADAT scores only. Okay, so moving on. Um... And, and that means the next one, technically, because you have to... Right, like cycle. prepare from now for the 2025 cycle. Like, 
Am I right? But the registrations, no? yes, the registrations are starting in University of Alberta in July 2024. So that mm. means you have to uh, take ADAT this year, like before July. Yeah, this Before is the part where it gets because. tricky. So yes. to be ready for the July in 2020, sorry, five or four, the registration? Uh, no, 24. Yeah. For a fall 2025 cycle, uh, you have to take ADAT this year mm -hmm. because their admissions are starting from July 2024 to November 2024. Mm -hmm. So you have to take ADAT this year to apply for fall 2025. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So coming back to uh, which universities in Canada are accept are accepting ADAT for IDAP. So we have five universities right now who have stated on their website that they would be taking ADAT. Uh, first one was McGill University. So just for your information, for everyone's information, uh, McGill University, the registration starts from 15th of August and the cycle, the admission starts in December. So the session, the session starts in December. So if you are planning to apply for McGill University, please take your ADAT this year and start your registration by 15th of August. Okay. Then University of Toronto. University of Toronto, the admission deadline is 2nd of July. So if you are planning to take an admission in University of Toronto, please take an ADAT this year before June so that you are ready with your ADAT scores to apply by the deadline. Take ADAT before this June. year, or, before June. Yeah. Or maximum in the first week of June. Uh, because Dr. Hafiz, what the thing is, the website says that the results will come in three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. My case, it came in two weeks, but we mm -hmm. want to keep that margin. So if you give the exam maximum by June first week, you are ready to apply by the deadline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for that, McGill University maximum the admission cycles, like the registration cycle starts by 15th of August, uh, as we already discussed. Uh, mm. University of Saskatchewan. So University of Saskatchewan, the admission deadline, sorry, uh, the registration deadline is 1st of February mm. for this year. So if anyone who is interested in applying to University of Saskatchewan next year, that is 2025, mm. could take ADAT this year mm. by 30th of August so that they can start their application cycle in November or December, whatever date that give, and because the deadline is 1st of February, 2025 next year. Mm -hmm. So if you want to apply for 2025 University of Saskatchewan cycle, then give the ADA this year so that you're ready to uh, file your application by November. Mm -hmm. So you see, I think this is where a lot of people think that when, when it's on the website, <clears throat> on the university websites where it says like 2025, they think, oh, since we're in 2024, it doesn't apply. But no. to get into that, 20, like it starts from 2024, you know? Yes. So that's why it's like now they they have to take ADAT now to get into the next cycle yes. of the, yes. of the uh, yes. advanced programs, right? Yes. They have to start the course now. They have to prepare <clears throat> themselves and have the space to give ADAT mm -hmm. during, because ADAT is instituted only from March to uh, 30th of August. Beyond that, ADAT is not instituted. So mm -hmm. we have only this much window to give ADAT. Mm -hmm. We can give ADAT twice a year in one cycle, right? Okay. And give yourself that margin that in the first attempt, if you are not happy with the score and you want to apply to a university, you have the time to give it a second time to improve your mm. score. Give yourself that margin. And even March is like, I think it's March 31st. So you barely count March. That's what I... Is that correct? Yes. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. So it's like you don't have a lot of time. You have to take it maybe April, May, and then June, July as a backup. For our students or uh, the students who are coming yeah. with us and students who are here today, I would suggest uh, plan for April. Okay. Maximum by May, first week. So that once you get your scores and if you're not happy by any chance, you have the window to apply it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's really good information. Yeah. 
Yeah. So next is University of Alberta. Now, this is very important. University of Alberta for 2024 cycle will be considering AFK, but for fall 2025 cycle, fall 2025 cycle, they are considering ADAT. So anybody who is interested in applying to University of Alberta next year has to give ADAT this year because their cycle of registration is starting from July to November 2024. So so the July 2024 registration is for the 2025? Yes. 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 So is there any yeah. university right now that someone can still, you know, loop like get get the afk uh, registration or is that like from now there's none of them it's already all done is there any date that's starting where like if someone has their afk they can't get into alberta right now like that deadline is done no. okay that deadline is done okay yes so it's only nova scotia and the western which are left who are taking uh, afk into consideration right now okay so those ones are gonna, i think they're going to stay um afk For now right? there's no information on okay. the website regarding that yeah. Okay. Um, so continue. Yeah. It's good. So for our University of Alberta, if you want to give and get into it, or you you want to apply for it next cycle, uh, please take an ADAT now and uh, then register from July to November two thousand twenty four for the next cycle, two thousand twenty five cycle. Mm. Right. So and... even they they have to take the ADAT exam before July, actually. Yes. So yes. it's even sooner. July to uh, July or August because their deadline is November, so they can okay. take in July or August. Okay, they could. Okay, nice. but again, I would suggest take give yourself mm -hmm. the margin to repeat the test. Mm -hmm. So if you're not happy with the score, mm -hmm. then University of Manitoba. So University of Manitoba has two tracks: Track A and Track B. So Track A earlier used to consider students who have taken their AFK and ACJ, and then they are applying to the University of Manitoba for the admission. Now, from the next cycle, for the 2025 cycle, uh, registration of which opens in November 2024. Sorry. Are you, is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Should I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Continue. Yeah. Okay. So anybody who's in a, interested in University of Manitoba, the cycle 2025, whose registration is starting in November 2024, please give your ADAT this year <laughs> so that you can apply for the registration. Uh, you can apply for next cycle in November. Mm -hmm. So track A is the one with ADAT. Is, it, is the track B, was it one of them still had AFK or no? So track B has AFK plus ACJ plus okay. NDECC. Oh, they added it By December, now. yes. By oh. NDECC by, by December in the same year. Like you are, if you want to apply for track B cycle in 2000, for 2025, you have to take AFK, ACJ and NDECC this year. That is 2024. That's so like, why would you, you would really want to have to want the university to do that? Because once you're done NDEC, what's the point? <laughs> you know, so, I don't get that. Yeah. But they have the options. So. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's, I learned a lot, Sarah. So I could look at the summary now is that so far, anyone that's interested in university pathway from this point, you should take the ADAT exam in April, ideally, start preparing in the FEB course now. That's that's the ideal thing for yes. for the, for getting into the next closest cycle of a university yes. pathway. Yes. Take ADATs this year, start with April, give yourself the margin, and start preparing now. So now is mm -hmm. the time. This is the ideal time to prepare. Okay. Um, okay. I guess sometimes a question, which is an interesting kind of, and it makes sense, if they fail AFK three times, and ADAT is completely separate, so they could take the university pathway now. Do, yes. do you know anyone that yeah yes. so it's yes. like uh yes. because they're independent right they're independent yeah. they are not considering the afk score now okay all right so that's a good way to, to, so if you do happen to like if some people are 
in the AFK and they're going to their last, you know, their last, the ADAT pathway now is separate that the university, sorry, pathway is separate from the direct pathway, you know, just look at it like that.